Following Christ has a cost. It's not a negotiated settlement. We're called to carry our cross, and anyone who suggests otherwise is a liar. Now, your cross may not be the loss of family or the turning away of everyone dear to you, but there is a cross at the center of the Christian faith. Without it, Christianity is Christless. Without it, you might as well join a social club. Now, I have no idea what your cross looks like or what changes God will bring to your life, but I know that at the end of life, if you have given yourself to Him as the living sacrifice you are called to become, you will have eternal life because of the cross of Christ. I will declare with confidence that my salvation had very little to do with me and everything to do with Jesus. So don't think I'm you know, going to point anyone to a works form of salvation. It, it ain't going to happen. We're saved by grace alone. Yet I grew up in Christian America and no one had ever told me about God's grace or the purpose of the cross. From everything I had heard, I thought Jesus was a curse word or the butt of a joke that Jews should not repeat. I had no idea what the historic church believed or why Christians even went to church. I'm sorry, but Christians just didn't love me enough to explain the story of Jesus. I guess some did not love Jesus enough to tell the story at all. I can only assume they did not believe it themselves or else they would have been compelled to share the message and charged with that call. Certainly they would have shared the hope of the ages with a desperately lost sinner like me. But it was not to be. I found Christ while reading a book, and to my amazement, the secret of life that had been kept from me was ultimately revealed through words preserved in the Jewish Bible. Yet Christians have been charged to publish the message of God's love. Why were they unwilling? What made them unable to muster enough care to share the story with me? Was it a lack of Christian love? Was it a lack of Christian faith? Why would my potential to reject their faith have shaken them so deeply that their faith was never shared? And since I've also missed my share of opportunities to witness, I should look inside, you know, Instead of acting like I'm beyond the fear held by some in my audience, maybe we all succumb sometimes, but true Christian love demands more than our past failures. Today and tomorrow, I want to be more faithful than yesterday. How about you? Maybe we start at the very beginning by asking a simple question. Is your faith real? What is the evidence of your belief? I'm not interested in your works. I want to know about your passion for life. Do you have a passion for God? Has God changed your life? Do you need God? I don't know. Maybe this will all ease up on the other side of the break. In the meantime, if you think I'm over the top or off the reservation on this stuff, drop me a line. I read all of my mail, and since you're taking the time to hear me out, I will certainly take the time to read your comments. You can write to me, Randy Weiss, at Crosstalk, P.O. Box 2528, Cedar Hill, Texas, 75106, USA. You can also connect with me on Facebook. You know, it's faster if you reach me through my website at www.crosstalk.org, or you can call 800-688-688. 3422 for our free teaching newsletter. The call is free from anywhere in the U.S. or Canada. 1-800-688-3422. I do appreciate your comments and I do pray over each of your prayer requests. And I do thank you for your willingness to hang in there with me. Please stay tuned.